and, and this is where I laugh. Like everybody's like, "Oh, do you, you can't get the jab because if you do, they're going to put like an RFID chip in. They're going to track you everywhere." They don't have to. You do it to yourself. Was it was a month or two ago you did the video. Uh, it was called "Big Brother Is in Your Pocket." Yeah, yeah. You you called this all day long. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know. All right, the people who told me about this may or may not hypothetically <laughs> work for certain organizations and companies that know all about this kind of thing. Yeah, just saying. So and here's another thing: like mm. this, this was cooked up in Israel, right? Shocker. So Israel, a company in Israel made this possible to basically turn your phone into a, a narc. It will record you. It will video you. It, and, and and you can even put it in a Faraday pouch. It will still record, and the minute you take it out, it connects and sends your shit on. They literally worked with the, some of the major cell phone companies to get their infrastructure and the, and the operating systems and so forth that they use. Yep. So they could build this product. And now it's out there. Yep, and they named it after a flying horse. And shockingly enough, the Guardian of all publications were the ones who actually leaked this. I am stunned. Stunning and braved. Huge data leak shatters the lie that the innocent need not fear surveillance. Our investigation shows how repressive regimes can buy and use the type of spying tools Edward Snowden warned us about. And and this is where I laugh. Like, everybody's like, oh, you you can't get the jab because if you do, they're going to put like an RFID chip in and they're going to track you everywhere. They don't have to. You do it to yourself. All right, so I'm going to pull it out my big ass wallet of ludicrous size. No wonder your back is so strong. That's in my front man. pocket. <laughs> All right, now, here is my debit card. And you see this chip in it, right? Yes. All right. A lot of people have the new ID. I think Michigan has a chip built into theirs as well. Now, what they do is this doesn't send out a signal by itself. Okay, mm. there's, there's not enough power in there. But what they can do is when they enter a residence or if they get near you know, somebody they're looking for, they can fire off frequencies that actually hit this and, and you know, respond back. Ooh. So, like, literally, if you're walking around with a wallet full of shit like this, oh, yeah. if they really want you and they, and they, and they just boop, oh, there he is. And then you, next thing you know, mm-hmm. you, you got, you know, oh, yeah. and you got people the, kicking down your door. And the materials to create a reader for that type of chip Simple. are not that expensive. Somebody can literally just walk by your wallet with one of these things like hidden in their own pocket. It's called a sniffer. Sniffer, yeah. Boom. They got all your information. Yeah, that's that's for stealing credit cards, and you can even uh, do it with, with the new uh, key fobs that start your car. Yep. A lot of people, all you got to do is have it on you. If you're within six meters, the car will start. Mm-hmm. But it's throwing off a, a frequency all the time. So people literally can walk by you, copy the frequency, go make a, a key fob, come back to your house when you're asleep, start the car, it'll drive off, and no one will know. And no one is the wise. No, and won't even set off the car alarm because you're you're technically the it's, one that's supposed to be doing it. It's your own frequency. Yeah, and then uh, with the, the chips and cards like this, like literally, I mean, you, everything you have on your body that has any... <laughs> Any bit of uh, technology on it is basically a narc. <laughs> exactly Amen to that. Is. And people are so glued to these things. They take it with them everywhere they go. I mean, it, they're, I hanging out, it, well, they're hanging out in a group of people. They're not even talking to each other. They're on the damn phones all the time. Mm-hmm. I have actually been in a restaurant with family. You know, we're, we're all talking, shooting the shit, what have you. And I look over and there's a couple on a date and they're sitting there. I'm going to take a picture of my penis and send it to her. <laughs> I know she's sitting right there, but, yeah, but she loves she'll be me. surprised. I hope she doesn't realize I'm using the super wide lens. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, and Your you know penis what? penis curves really far to the left. I, I've been trying to find a way or a program that's out there that could find this if it's on your phone and de- deactivate it. I can't find it. Yeah, well, because I, that's probably 
Well, the by thing, design. Well, no, no. The thing is, in the, in the United States, there's laws that are passed that you cannot have any kind of encryption technology that the government can't doesn't have. Well, that answers that question. So, <laughs> I mean, the private companies are lockstep with the federal government in this. Yep. All right. Now, I cover. We're going to cover some of this in administrative violence. Yeah. And how to like uh, get around this to a certain degree. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty tricky. It's going to be interesting. Let's get into some of the details here. All right. Billions of people are inseparable from their phones. Their devices are within reach and earshot for almost every daily experience from the most mundane to the most intimate. Yeah, I know. I've seen the videos on Orn Payhub. Few pause to think that their phones can be transformed into surveillance devices with someone thousands of miles away silently extracting their messages, photos, and location, activating their microphone to record them in real time. Such are the capabilities of... Pegasus, which was the entire part and parcel of the Lair episode you made two months ago. Yeah. The spyware manufactured by NSO Group, the Israeli purveyor of weapons of mass surveillance. NSO, of course, rejects this label. It insists only carefully vetted government intelligence and law enforcement agencies can use Pegasus and only to penetrate the phones of legitimate criminal or terror group targets. Bullshit. <laughs> One, two, three. Bullshit! I'm going to tell you about this right here. All right. So Pegasus, the way they're selling it here is uh, only countries use it against legitimate targets. Mm -hmm. And they make it sound like you can only be used if you have all of these assets to do it. That's absolute bullshit. Yeah, because governments are never corrupt. No, no. They can sell, like, suitcase products. Yep. Like, I can have in a van... I could park down the block from you, send you a bullshit email. You 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 open it, but don't you don't even have to click the link. You just open it to look. Boop. I'm in your phone. Done. And then everything that phone pings is going to the suitcase in my van, and I now know everything you know. I listen to your phone, listen to you pump your wife, whatever the hell you're doing. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it is a, it, it is scary. Yeah. What it's they really could scary. do. And, you know, you figure, oh. all right, see this phone here, I got like the triple lens phone here. Yeah. Okay. 15 years ago, they would have shot the Pope, embalmed him, and sent a camera like this to Mars if they could have. Yep. But we didn't have the technology back then. But now mm-hmm. we have phones that have like these crazy powerful cameras that see in the dark. They, they have night vision. You know that, right? Yeah. And the government has access to every single one of and them. And you cannot, you cannot, de- you cannot detect if it's on there or not. Nope. I, I haven't been able to find it out. Jail. I like to get like a techno dork on here who knows knows about this to help me. Uh, I, I know we got some people out there who work for uh, Facebook hockey and, and other such companies. If you're a, a tech literate individual who understands this sort of thing and wants to come on and spill the beans, hit us up redonkulous12 gmail dot com. So basically, we're putting on a casting call for a techno dork. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> not me. I, I, I'm no techno dork. <laughs> it's not like I'm surrounded by a Cthulhu cluster. F- the wires or nothing. No, no. No, what are you going to do, man? <laughs> Is there any way to actually make something like this aesthetically appealing? No. Seriously. No. Now back to the article here just to see what's going on here. Apparently, this is going to be an ongoing series. Mm-hmm. As long as, you know, the journalists don't mysteriously disappear now that this information is out there. Because you'll notice that articles like this are mysteriously missing from the American lamestream media. That could have something to do with the fact that those people are all in bed with a bunch of globalist a-holes who weaponize technology like this to spy on their political enemies. But hey, could just be me. Uh, You can just call me a conspiracy theorist. I'm just making shit up. (laughs) yeah. It's, it's not like the shit that we've seen in just the last nine months alone has suddenly made Alex Jones look more like Nostradamus than Nostradamus. Yeah, and the next layer that I'm putting together is I'm actually going to try to do uh, a best guest, a best guest scenario of what either a conflict or peaceful divorce will look like when it happens in this country. Peaceful divorce. Yeah. Uh, well, it'll start off peaceful divorce. Yeah, uh, allegedly. Yeah, but it's, it's not going to end up that way. All right. Yet. Yet. I, or should I say, but. <laughs> in the coming days, The Guardian, 
We'll be revealing the identities of many innocent people who have been identified as candidates for possible surveillance by NSO clients in a massive leak of data. Without forensics on their devices, we cannot know whether governments successfully targeted these people, but the presence of their names on this list indicates the links to which governments may go to spy on critics, rivals, and opponents. It's not like they're openly doing this on social media or anything. I mean, I've already what, spied on Tucker Carlson. Yeah. And I, I love their little non-denial. Denial. S- denial. <laughs> well, he's not really a person of interest at this time. Say it again slowly. Yeah. Because stupid doesn't always stick on the no, first pass. Doesn't always stick on the first pass. So, as always, after the stream, you'll find a link to redonkulous.com and a pinned comment. Check it out. Make sure that you're following up on this because I have a feeling this is going to get real interesting real yeah. quick. Watch Grunt Speak live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern and bring the strong stuff.